Australia is the world's biggest exporter of iron ore. China is our biggest customer. Roughly 50% of iron the world consumes is produced in China, and the iron industry contributes 7% of the global carbon dioxide or greenhouse gas emission. That's because the process of converting iron ore into iron and steel requires a massive amount of heat. And that takes a lot of energy, and usually coal is burnt to provide that energy. So the challenge is to replace coal with something much more friendly to the environment. If it was easy, it would have been done. Professor Eric May leads the Future Energy Exports Cooperative Research Centre, or CRC. The centre is tasked with working out how to make Australia's energy exports greener and more sustainable. The problem we're trying to solve is not a national problem, it's a global problem. And that's why collaboration with China is critical. So Professor May turned to his longtime colleague from the University of Western Australia, Professor Dong Ke Zhang. Professor Zhang moved from China to Australia in 1988 to complete his PhD in the coal capital of Australia and steel-making city of Newcastle. Now listed as one of the most influential engineers in Australia, Professor Jiang has maintained close ties with industry and researchers in China. He convinced one of China's oldest steel producers and the major consumer of Western Australia's premium iron ore to take part in the Australian research. Their specific interest in uh, participating in the CRC is our work in using hydrogen and ammonia to reduce iron ore. Both hydrogen and ammonia can be used as carbon-free reductants and fuels produced from renewable sources. The CRC is exploring the best way to produce, store and transport these fuels. Professor Zhang has experimented with renewable fuels in the lab, but the CRC will enable his ideas to be tested systematically and at a much larger scale. If all goes to plan, it will create a major new export for Australia while helping to reduce emissions overseas. People in this field can make a, a real difference and help secure humanity's longer term future because we're going to need to have cheap, sustainable, clean energy indefinitely. How we get to that point is the journey we're on now.